Today, we're going to walk the streets, sample the food, and photograph a small enclave of Rome known as Trastevere. This morning, I'm out and about exploring the area close to the walls of the Vatican. I am in search of breakfast. In Italy, do not underestimate the importance of a good cappuccino in the morning. I found a little street-side cafe called Clementina on the corner of Via Germanico and Via Ottaviano. Starting off a day of exploring with a good breakfast makes a huge difference in your energy throughout the day. One convenient thing about Rome is that you can call up an Uber. I like this option because I don't have to worry about taxi drivers trying to overcharge me for a ride. Welcome to Piazza de Santa Maria. Hey everybody, as you can see the sun is out, which means this is not my normal time for photography. I'm in the Trasaveri area here in Rome, and this is a little enclave of Rome that I looked at three years ago when I was last year, but just didn't have time to visit. So since I really can't do any dramatic photography because the sun's overhead, this is a good time to practice a little street photography and also of course explore this area. My backpack is a lot lighter because I do not have my tripod with me right now because again this is street photography, we don't need to carry it. Um, and also, there's a church behind me. We may get to go inside it, we'll see. But we're just gonna enjoy this area, explore a little bit, and maybe sample a little bit of the treats. So when it comes to looking out for things to photograph here, of course, we have to watch about things like this up here, which would be artwork, and you need an artist release. But the textures of these very old walls, is something that you can sell as a background images and that gives graphic artists opportunities to add to it so we're going to go ahead and capture some now normally i uh, don't enjoy uh, much street art particularly just plain outright graffiti um you know it just looks uh, really like gang related stuff but whoever did this one did a really good job this example of street art is very well done, right down to the detail and the emotion in her eyes. I also found a few other interesting pieces of street art while I was walking around. Well, as always in this part of the world, Graffiti is everywhere, and that does make it a bit of a challenge for some of the more beautiful architecture. And also the very close streets also make for a little bit of a challenge as well, because you just can't get a good angle. Whew, and the heat, I don't know if you guys can see it, I have sweat running down my forehead right now. It is hot this time of the year here. So soon, I, well I found a, uh, Kel Cafe that has misters. Guess where I'm having lunch today. Now something that I am practicing here is my uh, take three rule. Now what I mean by the take three rule is that you know you just you just don't know when you're going to be whatever part of the world you happen to be in. So you want to make sure that when you take an image, it turns out. One thing I've had a problem with in the past is I'd snap a photo and the composition would be terrible. Um, there may be, uh, well, basically blur. So what I do is for each uh, subject that I photograph, I capture three images of it and I let my uh, autofocus refocus each time. That way I have at least three chances of getting it right. And in the world of digital photography, you can afford to do that.
one thing is when you're out here especially in this relentless heat make sure you got plenty of water mm. wow I mean the humidity is amazing out here right now so you do dehydrate fast time for some lunch I'm going to be enjoying a meal at La Conica very kindly enough the uh uh, Major D seated me right in front of the fan where I wanted to be. Also, for the Americans in the audience, when you ask for water, ask for still water. Otherwise, you get carbonated water. So, remember, ask for still. I'll be sampling the Nocti a la Sorrentina. Needless to say, it is as good as it looks. That's good. That's real good. One of the things I love about Europe are the churches. The Baroque style is just something that you will not see in the United States. The image that I love to get inside of a church is when beams of sunlight come through the windows. Even if this is not your house of worship, leave a little thank you. Also, try to be respectful. There are people here to practice their faith. Something that I was grateful for with my new camera is the silent shutter mode. My old camera, my 7D, made noise and there's no way I would have taken it inside of a church to photograph. But with the silent shutter mode on, this thing is perfectly silent and uh, you can maintain a level of dignity while you're inside photographing. Now believe me, it's hot here. It's hot. It's really hot and sticky and muggy. One thing that I am enjoying is the fact I'm not rushing this time around like I did last time I was here. It's just, uh, I'm just taking a relaxed pace. I'm actually on my way back to my hotel. I'm gonna call an Uber soon. That's gonna give me a chance to recharge the batteries and also for me to cool down and recharge myself as I get ready for this evening's photo shoot. So I'm hoping to be heading up the Tiber River uh, with the uh, during the blue hour trying to capture the lights of Rome and then possibly ending up at Vatican City. I'd like to try and do a, a uh, panorama of uh, St. Peter's Cathedral or Basilica, excuse me, they're called Basilicas here. Uh, so we'll see if that transpires or not, but I have to do it during the blue hour, at least I would like to do it during the blue hour so we have a little bit of color left in the sky. But that's gonna be kind of hard to do with me also along the river during the blue hour. So this is gonna be my last night here in Rome, except I do know I am coming back, um, more or less for a vacation with my wife, uh, as opposed to a, um, a uh, photo shoot. But you never know, sometimes she really gets into it with the camera as well, and also um, likes to uh, partake photography, so you never know. But anyhow guys, as always, thank you for your continued support, and I will see you all either here again in Rome or back in Napoli.